Republic Act 7431. So it is an act regulating the practice of radiologic technology in the Philippines, creating the Board of RedTech, defining its powers and functions and for other purposes. Okay. Act 7431 has 30 sections. Okay, so let's discuss each section. Section 1 is a title, and under the title, this act shall be known and cited as the Radiologic Technology Act of 1992. Second section, it is a statement of policy. So under this one, it is the policy of the state to upgrade the practice of radiologic technology in the Philippines for the purpose of protecting the public from the hazards posed by radiation as well as to ensure safe and proper diagnosis, treatment, and research through the application of machines and or equipment using radiation. So, ibig po sabihin nito, it is the policy of a red tech or the red tech community to upgrade the practices. Example po nito is when you are going to do a seminar or to you are going to undergo trainings or and get the certificates in order for you to be licensed on a specific equipment or a specific modality. So, kapag nag, kapag nag po kayo tapos nakapasa kayo ng board exam, yung ating specialty po is just under the uh, under the conventional x-ray lang po. Yung, X, yung mag x-ray lang po tayo, x-ray machine. But the ultrasound, MRI, CT scan, uh, and so on and so forth, other modalities except for the x-ray machine is you need to have a specific certificate or a specific training in order for you to, uh, in order for you to actually handle those kinds of machines and equipments or modalities under the rad tech field. So, hindi pwede na, hindi pwede na hindi pwede na isasalang ka agad doon. So, you all have to undergo diagnostic procedures pa before you actually undergo to radiologic sciences na mga modalities. Okay? Next, definition of terms. So, that's under section 3. So, we have few definition of terms. When we say x-ray technology, it is a branch of radiology which deals with the technical application of x-rays as aid in the diagnosis of diseases and injury. Radiologic technology deals with technical application of radiation, such as X-rays, not only limited to X-rays, yan ang difference niya. Beta rays, gamma rays, ultrasound, and radiofrequency rays in the diagnosis and treatment of diseases. When we say X-ray technologist, ito yung tao, holder of a certificate of registration for X-ray technology issued by the Board of Radiologic Technology. When we say radiologic technologist, holder of a certificate of registration for radiologic technology, issued by the Board of Radiologic Technology. Okay? So, you see the difference. The X-ray technologist is just mainly sa X-ray machine. So, radiologic technologist could either be different modalities ang kanyang pwedeng mahandle. Okay? Another definition, we have the radiology. When I say radiology, it is a branch of medical science which deals with the use of radiation in diagnosis, treatment, and research of diseases. Radiologists, these are licensed physicians who specializes in the diagnosis or treatment of disease with the use of radiation. Medical physicists, a physicist who specializes in the application of principles and techniques of physics in medicine. Board, the board here is ref refers to the Board of Radiologic Technology. The commission naman, it refers to the Professional Regulatory Commission or yan yung PRC, yung nag issue ng lisensya natin pag nakapasa tayo ng board exam. It is created under the Presidential Decree 223. Okay, so that's under Section 3. Section 4. Practice of X-ray technology. The practice of X-ray technology shall include any and all acts by which one renders, furnishes, or contracts to render or furnish professional service as an X-ray technologist. Okay, so that's Section 4. And for Section 5 naman, for us, RadTech. Practice of radiologic technology, that's under Section 5. It is the practice of radiologic technology shall include any and all acts by which one renders, furnish, furnishes, or contracts to render or furnish professional service as an ex, as a radiologic technologist. So, wala na edit. As a radiologic technologist, dapat na siya. Section 6. Creation of the Board of Radiologic Technology. So, under the Board of Radiologic Technology, meron tayong isang chairman. And we apat na members. So we have a total of five members, okay? So five members, dapat meron tayong tatlong rad tech, isang medical physicist, and isang radiologist. Ma'am, pwede po ba na doctor yung chairman? No, ang chairman is dapat radiologic technologist. Yung radiologic technologist, dapat siya yung chairman. Sa apat na members, meron tayong dalawang rad tech, med isang medical physicist, and isang radiologist. So yan po ang under the members. Alright, 
Next, section. Section 7, Qualification of Board Members. Each member of the board shall at the time of his appointment, first, be a citizen and resident of the Philippines, be of good moral character, be at least 30 years of age, and neither a member of the faculty of any school where radiologic technology is taught. Ma'am, nga no, di siya pwede maging member of a faculty of any school. Di siya pwede mag-sideline. It's because if you are the board examiner, ikaw ang nagahimo sa questions, and imagine if you have, if you are teaching at a certain school, Siyempre, tagaan ni Motog Answers, di ba? May bias na. It's because gusto mo mo 100% ang school. Three members of the board, including the chairman, shall at the time of their appointment first be a radiologic technologist and have at least 10 years of practice as radiologic technologists prior to their appointment. Okay? Section 8, Term of Office. So for the chairman, ang term of office niya is 3 years. For the two members, there should be 2 years and another two members should be 1 year lang ang term of office. Section 9, Duties and Functions of the Board. First, enforce the provisions of this Act. Next is to administer oaths in accordance with this Act and suspension or revoke of licenses after due investigation and investigate any violations of this Act. So during investigation of violations, meron tayong tinatawag na subpoena ducis tecum. These are certain documents to alleged violators na ginahatag na siya. Okay? Section 10, Compensation of the Board. Okay? So, uh, the board members shall receive just compensation. So, dili na nila ginaingon pila ng sweldo, discreet lang. Pero they are given monetary benefits for them as members of the board. Next, we have Section 11. So, Section 11, removal of board members. So, pe- when kaya ma-remove ang isang board member? First, neglect of duty, incompetence or unprofessional, and immoral or dishonorable conduct. Next section, section 12, supervision of the board and custody of its records. So members of the board shall be under general supervision of the commission. So all records during exams, exam papers, exam results, and deliberation shall be kept by the PRC. So di nila na pwede uli sa balay ang mga papel. Okay? Next, section 13. Section 13, Rules and Regulations. The board shall set ethical and professional standards for the practice of radiologic technology. Next, Section 14, Annual Report. At the end of the year, the board shall submit to the PRC reports of activities and proceedings such as yung mga meetings nila and other stuff. Section 15, Requirement for the Practice of Radiologic Technology and X-ray Technology. So, no person shall practice rad tech or X-ray tech without the proper certificate of registration from the board. So, di ka pwede mag X-ray X-ray dihan na wala kay lisensya, wala kay certificate. So, that is, pwede ma-revoke or pwede pagka ma-ban, na? Next, Section 16, Exemption from Examination and Extra Technology. Examination shall not be required for the following persons. First, first members of the board. Next, to those prior to this act have passed the Civil Service Examination for Extra Technicians under the DOH. Kasi po before, ang nagbibigay ng board exams for Rad Tech and Extra Tech is the DOH before pa PRC. So, kapag nakatake na ka atong exam, nakapasa na ka from the DOH, you don't have to retake again from the PRC. Okay? And then next, Section 17, Exemption from Examination in Radiologic Technology naman. So, lahi na po din siya. Ganina is X-ray Technology. But still the same and content niya from the Section 16. So, katagi hapon, the first members of the board are still exempted and katong nakapasa sa DOH. Next, Section 18. Examination required. So, examination required for radiologic technologists once a year lang tapo pwede mag-board exam. So, yung sa ibang courses, two, twice a year, it's because Radtech, gamay ra mag ta. So, mawto ang ingon sa PRC. Since gamay ra ang Radtech, sige, once a year lang. But before, I think, last batch na naka-exam ng twice in one year is, I think, the batch 2013. After that, once a year na lang ang board exam for Radtech. Lo ikay ta. Section 19, Qualifications for Examination. First is a Filipino citizen. Next, dapat meron kang good moral character. You're a holder of baccalaureate degree of radiologic technology or x-ray technology. So, di pwede mag-exam-exam ka, no? Na accountancy mo na imuhang course, no? So, kinahanglan, rad tech or x-ray tech ka na graduate. Section 20, Scope of Examination in X-ray Technology. So, ito yung mga subject courses na... Na 
ikukunin natin sa ating sa board exam ng mga X-ray tech. We have radiation physics, radiation protection equipment maintenance at 10%. We have radiographic positioning technique that 10%, anatomy and physiology medical term 10% and so on and so forth. Sa X-ray tech ni siya, iba din yung sa atin as red tech. Okay, so for radiologic technology, napibilang tayo sa section 21, scope of examination on radiologic technology. So we have radiation physics, radiation protection, equipment, and maintenance, that's 10%. We have the positioning, technique, and special procedures, 10%. Anatomy and physiology and medical terminology, 10%. Photochemistry and film analysis, that's 10%. We have nursing and department procedures in radiology and professional ethics, 10%. We have ultrasound, red terra, nuclear medicine, radiologic pathology, CTMRI, that's 5% each. So in the board exam, we have 5 subjects. In each subject, we have 100 items, okay? So it, this one, siya, if you fuse ito siya, for example, the rad physics, radiation protection equipment maintenance, Plus, the photochemistry and film analysis, isa na sila ka, subject kan. So, 100 items na siya na exam. The positioning, radiographic technique, and special procedures. And, uh, siya, isang subject lang yan siya, that's 100%. You have anatomy, physiology, and medical terminology. That's also 100, per, 100 items, rather. And we have the nursing, professional ethics, 100%. And then we have our 100 items. And then we have the rad cycling, ultrasound, radiation therapy, 100 items na sila. So, if used na sila, 100 items. Section 22, report of ratings. The board shall report the rating obtained within 120 days after the date of completion. So, after yung board exam, maximum na actually ang 120 days. It's because sa among patch, I think mga 5 or 4 days lang, dumabas na kaagand yung result. I think murag 3 days lang yung ata to. Depende kasi yan. So mostly, karon uh, online na siya. So you are just going to log in sa website ng PRC Gov, and then you are going to see there ang results in your board exam. So mga three to five days lang na siya. One hundred twenty days. That's already the maximum. Okay. So there should be an average of seventy five percent with no subject below sixty percent. Ma'am, what if seventy five ang grade or yung total average? Pero na siya fifty eight sa positioning. So, ang gagawin nyo po, dan, nyo po dyan, yung positioning or yung subject lang na meron kayong grade below 60, ang uulitin ninyo sa next na board exam, which is one year pa, kasi once a year lang tayo nang board exam. Pero if ang muhang grade mismo, ang inyong average for the whole subjects is 75, or uh, lower than 75 rather, let's say 74, uulitin mo yung buong examination. Uulitin mo yung buong board exam. So, walang exemption. Okay? So, kapag isang subject, dalawa or tatlong subject lang ulitin, that is what you call conditional. Meaning, may subjects lang na below 60, pero 75 ang imuhang average rating for everything. Pero yung below 60 na subjects mo, yun lang din ang uulitin mo na itake sa next na board exam. Section 23, Oath-Taking. All successful examinees shall be required to take professional oath before the board or any authorized person by the board. Next, Section 24, Issuance of Certificates of Registration. Certificates shall include the full name of the registrant, serial number, signature of commissioner, date of issuance, and official seal of the board. Next, Section 25, we have the fees. Application for exam, 350. Registration after passing the board, 250. Replacement or loss of destroyed certificate of registration 100 and for issuance or revoke of certificate that's also 100 so di ko sure if na update na ni siya karon pero mao pa man ni siya ang nasa RA7431 that's because online na ba katanan karon because of covid but um mao lang sa ni siya ang atong i-follow kay mao man pud ni ang naa sa uh, republic act okay so dito magi mo to ang charge okay next section 26 penal provisions a fine of not less than 10,000 or more than 40,000 pesos or imprisonment of not less than one year nor more than six years if first without certificate second expired ang license mo and third is forged ang certificates grabe na gid no ang pagdaya no nag x ka wala dai kay lisensya wala kay certificate so ito yung mga prena that's under section 26 the prenal provisions Section 27, we have the appropriations. The amount necessary for the compensation of the board shall be included in the General Appropriations Act. Section 28, repealing clause. All laws, decrees, orders, rules, and regulations inconsistent are hereby repealed or modified accordingly. Section 29, missing. Nalibat siguro ang naghimo ani ang RA. Na miss na yung 29. Next, Section 30, Effectivity Clause. This act shall take effect one month after its publication. And for RA7431, it was approved April 22 of 1992. 
Speaker of the House at the time was Ramon V. Mitra Jr. The Senate President during the time was Neptali A. Gonzalez. The President of the Republic of the Philippines during the time is Corazon C. Aquino. And the DOH Secretary is Dr. Juan Flavier. Okay, so that's it for our lesson on RA47431. I hope you guys learned something. I'll see you in our next lecture.